Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the very interesting double displacement reaction between sodium sulfide and copper sulfate. Check this out. All I'm using in this reaction is a graduated cylinder with distilled water, copper sulfate, and an aqueous solution of sodium sulfide and a dropper. The first step is to add four grams of copper sulfate to 50 milliliters of water in my graduated cylinder. I'm going to stir the solution until it becomes aqueous. Once all of your copper sulfate is dissolved in your graduated cylinder, add sodium sulfide and you'll observe the double displacement reaction where metals trade places with metals, your copper and your sodium, non-metals with non-metals. These are your reactants, copper sulfate and sodium sulfide. They'll change into copper sulfide and sodium sulfate where copper sulfide is the precipitant that's very dark and insoluble. So this is what my sodium sulfide looks like in the dropper. You can see it's clear. But when I add it to my solution of copper sulfate, you'll immediately see this dark precipitant fall out of the solution. And that's copper sulfide, which is very dark. And will be suspended for a few minutes until you'll actually see dark crystals of copper sulfide start to precipitate out of the solution. And that copper sulfide is really interesting. It's used as a semiconductor. In addition to being used as a semiconductor, copper sulfide is used in solar cells, gas sensors, even microwave shield and coating, all kinds of uses for copper sulfide. After a few minutes, you can really see the precipitation of the copper sulfide as it starts to sink out of the solution. Just amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.